so I just left Midwest Motors in Missouri and uh, we got the new bed for the Denali all loaded up. Uh, super helpful people. I highly recommend them to anybody uh, that's looking for a bed. Uh, they're a CM dealer and that's the bed that we decided to go with. So um, super excited for this and no, I am not just putting it directly on the truck. I've uh, got other plans in mind for this bed. Um, at first, I was thinking about making it white, but I just don't feel like that would go with the Alcoas very well. You know what I mean? So, uh, we're not going to paint this bed. We're going to polish the whole entire thing. So, that's the plan for this bed. I don't know how long it's going to take me. Um, I'm also not a professional polisher. I do have... A backup plan if I don't feel like I can do it but I don't know I think I can get it done and uh, you know we'll get it all sanded down and start polishing it out and of course there'll be video of that and uh, as we're making progress with the bed um, my goal is to have it on possibly by this upcoming weekend I'll work on polishing the bed every night try to get it ready to go um, this is gonna be so sick. Like I, I never thought I would have a fully polished uh, flatbed, which it's not really a flatbed. It's more of like a work bed because it's got the front uh, cabinets on there. I, I love the look of the flatbeds, but I also have to be able to carry parts and tools and stuff like that. You never know when you're gonna need some some parts. You know, fix a furnace or air conditioner. So my plan is to drive this a lot and my LBZ will still be driven it'll still get taken the service calls it'll still do daily stuff I just don't know what to expect with it uh, obviously it's gonna be a lot more than what it was before um, before I had 80 overs in it and a dual fueler set up um, this go around we're gonna be running 200 over exergy uh, injectors and then we're just gonna have a 14 mil in the valley and we're gonna go away with the dual fueler setup. So, uh, it's also gonna have compounds on it. HSP is doing the compound kit. And I really hope that it isn't too laggy and it's not too smoky, but I, I really don't know what to expect with it. Hopefully it'll all be okay and um, I can still run service calls with it and it not just be a garage queen because there's nothing worse than a truck sitting in the garage the whole time that's not the point of a truck in my opinion so uh we're gonna get this bed back home and unload it so we'll we'll take some videos of me getting it getting it unloaded and get it into the shop we're gonna get this thing polished out and we're gonna put it on the truck and that's what's coming up next i'm showing you videos from start to finish from me picking it up at Midwest Motors all the way to it being on the truck and putting the rock lights back on it. Um, I've also thought about adding some more lights to the bed. I haven't fully decided on that yet. Uh, if I do, I might throw it in at the end. Of course, it sucks drilling into a brand new bed, but at the same time, the more lighting, the better in my opinion. I think it just makes it look good and, and sets it off. So. We'll see what I decide on that, and uh, yep, here we go. All right, so we got the bed in here. Uh, this has been a huge learning curve. Um, just, I don't know. I, I've done a lot of polishing on uh, Alcoas, obviously, because I got a bunch of them, but I haven't ever really messed with full uh, flat aluminum. And uh, I don't know, you can see behind me that it's getting there. Uh, I had to do this door 
like five or six times before I was happy with it. And when I say five or six times, I mean like sand it, 600, 800. And then my very first pass, I did orange pad, yellow pad, white pad. And then the rest of this, I'm just doing orange pad straight to white pad. Um, but each time I did that, I was sanding it down. Or I would at least start over with 800 and then try it again because I wasn't happy with it. But now that I got the hang of everything, uh, we're making progress. A lot of this still needs wiped down. Here, I'll flip the camera around. So here's kind of how it's going. Obviously, this is looking really good. Over here, needs wiped down. Uh, started on the headache rack, it still needs a little bit of work. Uh, right now, we're sanding the back. It started with 600 and then went up to 800. Got that done. And then we haven't touched this side yet. Uh, we started getting this, the reflectors off. We got the lights popped out. Uh, on the other side, you saw that I took this door off. That way we could really get around these hinges good. And then I gotta pop this. I got the whole back of the bed done. Uh, it turned out all right. I'm not like 100% satisfied with it and I haven't decided yet. I may sand it down and go over it again. But I'm starting to figure out that if you don't go past 600 grit on this bed, then the clarity isn't there. And that's why my door over there is so clear because I've sanded it down like four times. I mean, it's not bad. And it still has a reflection, but it's not clear like this other door is. And I mean, this door is crystal clear. So, I might take 320 to it and then work my way back up to 600 and then 800 and then polish it out. Other than that, tomorrow I'm hoping I can get this whole side done. Uh, I'm starting to really get the hang of it now, so I don't think it's going to take that long. I'm on number two with this door. I've sanded it twice, and I'm still not happy with it. I still got grit marks. Uh, I started with 320, went up to 600, and then ended with 800, and then polished it, and I wasn't happy with it. So I went 600, 800 again, and it still looks like shit. So... I really don't know what to do. I'm going to switch to a different sander that I got and maybe that'll take care of the issue because it's basically, I mean, to me, it looks just as good as what all this does down here. And it looks good. Don't get me wrong. Like it looks better than this does, obviously, like nobody wants their fucking bed to look like that, but I got to figure it out because it's killing me and there ain't no way this thing's rolling out of here looking like that. So reflection's good and all, but clarity is even better and that's what we're shooting for. So once I get this figured out, hopefully I can get it figured out or else I'll be reaching out to some people, but I don't want to bug them. I got to at least try to get it figured out myself. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully this uh, other sander that I'm going to try will do the trick. Test corner, 600 grit. Dewalt, non-battery. This is what I was using. 
huge mistake. I can already tell the difference. Should have pulled out the corded machine to begin with. I've literally done the whole bed with this battery machine and I probably fucked up like really, really bad. All right, so I got 600, 800 done right here and I carried the 800 over to this side. Just out of curiosity, when I'm polishing this out, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna work my way up and I'm gonna see if the 800 was enough. And if it was, then I'll just knock the rest of this out with 800 and probably just redo the whole door. But I'm still trying to figure it out. It's over, face it. It's been too long, there's a new replacement. Y'all motherfuckers need to learn some patience. Nine to fives ain't allowed, that's a sleep. Money come quick, even quicker when it go. Money come quick, something burnt in your cell. Now you can't fill the hole, cause you ain't in control. If you money, 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 ain't a funny how it goes. Money come quick, even quicker when it go. Money come quick, something burnt in your cell. Now you can't fill the hole, cause you ain't in control. If you money, 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 ain't a funny how it goes. Hello, in my footsteps, I say hello, hello, hello. All right, so as you saw in the last clip, we were dropping the bed onto the truck with the tractor. Um, basically, what I've done up to this point is we got everything lined up, centered up with the wheels, uh, centered up with the rear window on the truck. Um, you know, these beds aren't exactly perfect, so you can't really go off of measurements, but I did both. I measured, and then I went and eyeballed it and kind of adjusted it here and there. Uh, it was within like an eighth of an inch, so... It was pretty close, um, but I did skip a few steps up to this point. So right now we got the bed lifted in the air and uh, I'm getting ready to drill some holes for the brackets. So um, I'll go through real quick, show you what I did up to this point. And then after that, uh, I'm gonna get to drilling some holes and then uh, probably hit the frame with some paint and make it look a little nicer before I drop the bed back down. All right, so basically what we got going on here is you have all of your original bed mounts. You can see one right there, uh, one right there, one right there. So what I did was I set the bed down onto the frame and on the GMs, I mean, it's pretty much the same width as your stock frame. I think it's a little bit different on the Fords and the Dodges from what I saw, but the frame rail goes straight down on the truck frame rail. And then I set these brackets down, butted them up against the bed frame, uh, made a mark for my holes, drilled the hole. And then this one isn't tight, but what I did was I tightened most of them. That way I could go around and then made my marks for these holes. You can see some right there too with a yellow pin. And Basically, I'm gonna go through, drill all these holes, and then shoot some paint on the frame. And then it'll be time to drop down the bed and bolt it up. And after that, uh, I'm gonna be putting some extra lights on the bed in a few spots. And then, uh, so once we get the uh, holes drilled, all the mounting points will be done. Wiring is actually really super easy. It's all plug and play. And then they said something to me about I have to go to the dealership and get 
the module will be reprogrammed so that the hyper flash isn't going on uh, these trucks that kind of have it built in you just got to reprogram it so today's saturday uh tomorrow will be sunday we'll get the bed hopefully drop down bolted up and then i think some of my parts that i had ordered are supposed to be here on tuesday so on tuesday we'll be getting some lights put on or wednesday depends on how busy we are with work but Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be put, putting some lights on, getting the fuel filler uh, hooked up. And at that point, it should be just about done. And then we'll probably do a test run with the gooseneck, make sure that the bed seems all right and everything. And uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right, so it's off the lift. And obviously, we got some lights underneath the wheels. So I got the uh, brackets all done. Uh, everything's bolted down, um, got the airlines ran for the bags, or at least they're, they're ran over to this door and I'm going to put the little ports, uh, sticking into this door right here. Um, let's see. Only thing we got left to do is the lights and the fill nozzle. Uh, I kind of took everything off for of the fill nozzle. That way, when that comes in, all I got to do is get underneath there and, uh, plumb it over. Um, uh, but that's all I got time for today. So I'll give you a little walk around. So I still got uh, that door to finish and then I got to pop these lights in. I'm not gonna pop those lights in until I do one final polish. There's the rock lights, I got the frame painted. There's inside one of the doors. I got to get some shelves put in there and then get everything uh, put in there that I'm gonna put in, get the door handles on. I, got, I do have a billet lockable gas cap coming from that from D-Max store. Uh, I still got the Salter harness. I got to uh, get it wired up in there and zip tie it up. Oh, I got the exhaust tip done. One thing I didn't really mention, but... So I took the original 5 to 6 elbow, and then I cut the 5-inch the part off of the tip and welded it on there, so it's actually 6 to 8 now. And it looks so good. Like, you you already have, like, a, a a big look on the dualies when you got, you know, bigger wheels and tires on them. But just having a 6-inch pipe feeding to an 8-inch tip looks good on there. It turned out awesome. I'm pretty happy with it so far. So, Definitely can't wait to get this thing out and drive it. I don't know if this bed's any lighter than the stock one or not, but it definitely looks better, that's for sure. This door turned out pretty good. So I don't know how many lights I'm gonna put. I was thinking one, two, maybe three. And then I was even thinking about maybe putting a light right here and a light right here. And then maybe even a light right here. Those would be either white or red. I'm not sure. And then this is currently yellow. It's going to get changed to white. And those will be white. So I don't know. The install truck has a white light right here. And it has a white light right there. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, when I first put this white light on the side. I mean technically this is supposed to be yellow or red. But it doesn't look too bad. So. I'll honestly probably do red ones. I think white would be too much. I mean, the back one right here on the side is is a red light, so. But she looks good, I like it. Wrapping up for today. Once this other stuff comes in, I'll be able to uh, get it all done and this thing will be ready to drive. So. That's it for today. So the truck is pretty much wrapped up. Uh, I got some CM truck body stickers going on the side since they helped us out with this project. And uh, haven't decided if I'm going to put my logos on the, on the doors or not. I got the stickers here ready to go. But um, I kind of want to get the polishing wrapped up 100%. I'm kind of burnt out on the polishing. So I've taken a break on it for a minute. But uh, I'll give you guys a quick walk around and show you everything that's wrapped up and everything that we've done here recently. And uh, you guys can check it out. So here it is. I've actually been driving it the last few days here 
for making sure there's nothing that I need to do. But uh, we went with strobes. I actually had these uh, sitting on the counter. I ordered them last year for plowing. And uh, so I got them on the, on the backs here and then on the headache rack. And then I got one on each side so that you can kind of see it from the side view. And then I got four in the front grill. And I'll turn those on here in a little bit. They're still pretty bright for a daytime. But this thing turned out pretty awesome. I, I love this truck. I never would have thought it looked this good, but man, that polished body looks killer. I got the, the CM truck bed sticker. It's drying, it's still got the front paper on it. But they helped us out uh, with this project. So shout out to them for giving us a hookup on this bed and making it happen. But as soon as those uh, stickers get done drying, I'll get it peeled off and we'll do one final walk around video of the entire truck. You can see there's a little something hooked on the front there.